Hey guys. Okay. It's testimony time. Testimony time. Testimony time. Testimony time. And I'm about to brag on the Lord. I'm about to brag on my father. How good he is. Okay. Okay. I don't even know where to begin. There's so many. I'm trying to be fast. I'm chewing gum. As y'all know. My phone been turned off, right? Been turned off. I'm not able to use the internet. Not able to text or call out. Whatever, right? None of that. But I felt led to just try to go with another cell phone company. Okay? Now, I went to Starbucks today. I had felt so good today. I was in a really good mood. I had a really good day so far. And I went to Starbucks. I'd used, I was on my laptop charging it up. And I was just Googling like different stuff. Googling, um, you know, different cell phone bills, you know, plans, all that, right? I have a pimple. Don't mind my pimple, guys. Um, but so I just felt led to just like AT and T. I just felt led for that. So I'm chatting with somebody on the you know computer, the laptop and whatnot, the chat and everything. Right? I'm gonna try to talk slow because like, there's so much in this, so much in this, so much in this. God was in all of this, this whole process. So, how is it that I'm at, you know, I'm at Starbucks, I have my coffee, I'm um, chatting with AT&T, and then out of nowhere, these people next to me were talking about AT&T. They were like, oh, what cell phone do you have? What company do you have? Oh, we have AT&T. And I looked over, and I was like, really, God? And I was like, okay. So, I felt like the Lord was already speaking like AT&T. I was like, okay. So I'm talking to my spiritual mama on the phone and we had like a whole Bible study and everything, right? God was just so, he was speaking so loudly. And then I was like, I'm going to go do my nails. First of all, back up. Let me back up, back up. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Let me back up because I went and got my own bank account today, right? I felt led to do this particular bank. I'm not going to say what bank it is, but I felt led for this particular bank when I first got here because I was like, I need a bank because my bank account is withdrawn, like way overdrawn. Okay. So then I got paid yesterday, right? But I wasn't able to cash my check or deposit my check until today. And then it so happens that the bank that my job banks with is the bank that was on my heart. Okay. And I was talking to my spiritual mom and she was like, well, it looks like that's the bank that you've been wanting to go with. So just go with that one. And I was like, yeah, yeah. I go to the bank and I'm like just praying to God that I have favor in that place. Right. And I was able to deposit my check. I didn't have to pay anything because I had a good amount of money for that particular, um, bank account. So, I didn't have to pay anything. That was good, right? And so, the guy deposits the money. Like, he deposits my whole check. And he's like, oh, you're not going to have it until Tuesday. And I was like, oh, no. I was like, I need money, like, today. And I was like, Lord, let your will be done. Like, let me be able to have some kind of money in my pocket right now. And then I just started praying in tongues in my head and everything like that. Sure enough, he was able to give me some funds back. I was like, thank you, Lord. So, I got my bank account set up. I'm going to go turn in my direct deposit to my work and everything. That's done. Boom. Okay? So, to at and right? I go do my nails. I just had my acrylic or whatever it was on my nails. I had that taken off. Like, that's all I could do at the moment. And, and it's so funny how God works because... I planned on going to a certain nail place that was down the street from where I was 
and she was booked up and I was like dang like I really wanted to be here because like she seemed nice the reviews were good but I was like let me just go to AT&T okay I went to AT&T there's a nail place right next to AT&T and they were pretty cool like they were decent I was like okay god I was able to do my nails I went right next door to AT&T so I go into AT&T guys when I say the favor of god is upon my life he's upon my life and like i really know now what he means or what he meant when he was saying open doors not just one door but there were many open doors this was an open door guys you have to get it in a shape they get it in a shape they you have to get it in a shape they get it in a shape oh you have to get it in a shape thank you lord jesus thank you father because I was talking to my spiritual mama and she was, we're agreeing, coming into agreement on not having to pay anything for a cell phone bill or for my cell phone, whole new phone, whole new number, everything, everything, right? I get here, I'm talking to the guy. Oh, let me go back. Thank you, Lord. Let me go back. I went to the bank. The guy's name was Hyman, right? I was like, oh, okay, cool. And then I come here to at and The girl that was going to help me she was going to help me, right? But then she was like, the guy was like, oh, no, I'll get her. I'll help her out. That was God. Because tell me why his name was Hyman, too. And I was like, wow, that's the second Hyman that I've had for the day. And I just felt led. I was like, let me look up his name, see what it means. And I looked it up. But I there was like other different sites that I had to go through, but I only went through one. And so the one that I looked up was Supplanter. I want to say and I was telling my sister in Christ about it and she told me what it meant and I want to say it meant God protects I think that's what it meant and I was like wow Lord thank you thank you thank you so talking to the guy we're trying to see if we qualify for a phone whatnot let me just cut it short okay I have a new cell phone okay not even just a new cell phone I got a new cell phone I got a new number I have accessories that I didn't even have to pay for that I had like two almost two hundred dollars worth of credit because I was able to trade in my old phone. I had two hundred dollars worth of credit in store that I could use. I didn't know what to get. I got me a cell phone case. Mm -hmm. Got that. Got me some earbuds. Uh-huh. Got that. Those are good. And I was just telling my spiritual mama that I wanted some earbuds. I was like, I'm gonna go to O'Reilly's, buy these little cheapo earbuds, blah blah blah. No, the Lord done came through and I got these earbuds and they're super good. They are not expensive. I mean, they're expensive, yes, but I didn't have to pay out of pocket for them. I got, okay, cell phone, um, cell phone case, cell phone, cell phone case, um, a speaker, earbuds, and a charger. Five things. Five things, guys. Why tell me why I didn't have to pay anything? The only thing I had to pay was like eight bucks, and it's only because I went over my limit with my pop socket. That was it. And the guy was so nice to me, I felt led to tip him. And I was like, Here, keep the rest. But he was like, Okay, you know, thank you, but let's put it towards this. And it was like, um, it was like a, a donation for the kids, like for hearts and all that stuff. I was like, Oh, you know, that's fine. So on the wall, they have hearts, you know, and it says, um, you put your name, it says blank is life or no blank is why, right? And everybody writes their name or whatever, but this girl here, I put Jesus, Jesus is why. So the Lord is good. The Lord is good. I have my phone. I don't have to, like, God is so good. Guys, I can't stress, I, oh my gosh. If I did not follow the leading of the Holy Spirit, I'd be not even here right now. Not even here right now. But God, he knows all he, he knew this was going to happen as far as my cell phone and like getting it cut off and all that stuff. So this is already in his plan. It was already it was already done. So, I'm sitting at the table and the guy's going over what I can do because there is a promotion going on. 
And if I went by that promotion, I would have had to put some money down. I didn't have all the money right now. And he was like, but if you do it, he was going out of his way. He's like, let me see what I can do. Let me see what I can do. Let me do this for you. Let me do this for you. He didn't have to, but he, God was working through him. God was working through him. And he was like, well, if you do this, you can trade in your phone and you don't have to put nothing down. Nothing down. I was like, I'll do that. I'll do that. Granted, yes, I paid eight dollars, but that's because I went overboard with my little pop socket. It was like I had like so much money left over, and then I went over. So eight dollars is what I ended up paying, coming out of pocket with whatever. But that's fine. That's fine. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. When we are obedient. Our blessings are on the other side of our obedience, guys. I'm so proud of myself. I came this far. The Lord knew I had a rough week at work. He's, oh my gosh, he's so good. He even spoke earlier as I was talking to Miss Kim on the phone. We were talking about Satan and how busy he is. And he's really trying to get me down. And he's trying to get me back to go back to my old ways. And reach out to people I ain't supposed to be reaching out to. And all this and that. Blah, 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 blah. Right? And... This big old truck passes by and it says armor. The whole armor of God is what I'm supposed to be wearing. Us wearing every single day. So she felt led to read Ephesians 6. I think it was 10 through 20. But I think she started at like maybe a little further down um, than I think maybe 12 or something like that. But I was like, okay, Lord, like I hear you. Because, and I even prayed today for him to help me put on my armor so I can resist the enemy and I can just, you know, battle off those stupid lies and those stupid tactics, tactics of his. Because he's such a stupid mother effer. I can't stand Satan. He's so stupid. And God showed up today, guys. He showed up today. And I felt so light today. I did not feel burdened because I was off this weekend. I'm off this weekend. I worked the whole, I did my five days like I was supposed to at work. I had the weekend off. I was like, thank you, Lord. Went to work, had my free coffee, did my word this morning. And I was like, this is going to be a good day. This is going to be a good day. I'm going to get my nails done. I didn't get to get them done, but I was able to open up an account and didn't have to like you know like I didn't have to pay for anything it got my nails off for work got me a phone a speaker earbuds I got me all kinds of stuff God was all up in AT&T okay so I just like I had to come on here and brag on the Lord brag on the Lord and then there might be even people that come across this video or or even subscribe to my channel I don't even know that are gonna hate on me I don't care because I know who I am in the Lord and I know what he's done for me and I know that when he said before I got here to my promised land open doors Angie there's going to be open doors the open doors were my blessings were my was my income coming in you know everybody sowing seeds into my ministry that was an open door me being obedient to, to giving the girls away. As soon as I did that, I missed them. Yes, I love them. Yes, but they have a family that is taking care of them and that is spoiling them and everything, taking them on car rides, whatever they want. That's what's going on with them right now because I'm not able to do that for them right now. And I can't leave them in my car the whole time while I'm at work. So I was obedient in that and doors started opening. Um... I had to get up and go get a job and go apply places. I applied so many places, guys. And the only person that called me back, the only place that called me back was Jack. So there's a reason why. And God was even highlighting Jack in the Box before I applied. But there's a reason why he wants me there. There's a reason why he wants me there. I got hired on the spot. Worked the very next day. Tell me that's not the favor of the Lord. That is the favor of the Lord. I'm blown away and I'm just in awe of God right now. So some people might not even understand it. They might not even get it. And I don't care if you don't get it. And I don't care if you don't understand it. It's called being a child of God, being a chosen vessel for the Lord, being obedient in everything he's calling us to do. Because there are so many of us that are asleep. 
that are asleep. We have purpose here and we're not even walking in our purpose. We have a calling. We're not even walking in our calling. God's already told you to walk away from that relationship and you're still in that relationship. God already told you to quit that job and you're still working that job. There's so many things that the Lord has told us to do and we're just afraid of stepping out in the water and doing it because we don't have that faith because we have to wear our faith like faith without works is dead guys faith without works is dead faith without works is dead and you expect god to just keep giving you all these blessings and blessings and blessings but let me tell you something sweetheart whoever i'm talking to i don't know who i'm talking to but the devil can bless people too the devil will bless others too but those blessings do not last they are not eternal like the lord's blessings they will just come crashing down crashing down they're not eternal like the lord's um blessings the devil can bless you too the devil can bless you too but they are not eternal get that through your head they are not eternal you feel like everything is going so good and then i don't know where you just hit rock bottom and everything is gone that's because those blessings came from the enemy not from not from the Lord because the Lord when we partner with God his blessings are eternal and they're always and his oh you have to get it at a shame man his promises are yes and amen it is yes and amen it is yes and amen I am a walking testimony to God's favor like he's oh my God he's changed my life he has delivered me from so many things. And people wonder why I act like this. Why I talk like this. Why I don't do this anymore. Why I don't do that anymore. Because I have the righteousness of Jesus in me. Living in me me the holy spirit is constantly consistently sanctifying us on a daily freaking basis every day every day so you can't sit here and say oh yeah i'm a child of god be over here cursing and listening to rap music that curses and talks about booty this and booty this and booty this and you know what i'm talking about no you're not a child of god you're not a for real child of god every yes we are all god's children yes but you're not walking in the ways of the Lord when you're doing that. You can't be in and out with God. Either you're going to be with God or you're not going to be with God. Which one are you going to be? Which one are you going to be? Because I want to partner with God. I don't care who comes against me. There are people coming against me already. But God's going to use that for the greater... Mm, yet to get it at a shape thing. God is going to use that for the greater, for the greater purpose. His purpose. His will is going to be done. His will is going to be done. Because it's about Him. It's not about me. It's not about me. It's about me being obedient and whatever. Man, everything He's told me to do. And I know I sound crazy to some. I know I look crazy to some. I know that, you know, I, I might be a Jesus yeah i'm a jesus freak i love jesus because without him i'm nothing without him i'm nothing i was in that t-mobile place talking about the lord and i wasn't ashamed to say it on my cash app card i have a customized i love jesus i'm not ashamed to say that i'm not ashamed of him because if i'm ashamed of him when i get to the gates of heaven he's gonna turn me away because i was ashamed of him no and I just, you know, the guy that I was, that was talking, that I was talking to, he was so nice. And I was like, you know what, really, I really appreciate this. Like, thank you for going out of your way. Like, you don't have to. And I asked him, I knew he had somebody. Like, I knew he wasn't single. I can tell he wasn't single. And I wasn't hitting on him. I pray that he didn't think I was hitting on him, but I wasn't hitting on him. I was just being a woman of God. And... Um, I asked him if he was single or if he had a girlfriend. And he was like, yeah, I do. And we have a five-year-old. And he was telling me. And I was like, oh, that's great. I'm happy for you. And I just, I, I was like, you know what? Before I leave, I just feel like, you know, I pray that the Lord blesses you abundantly. And I wanted to leave him a tip, but he didn't allow me. And that's fine. Like, it went for a greater good. People's hearts. People's lives being saved. So, 
I did go eat something. I got me a sandwich and I only ate half of that. And so when I went back to AT&T, Jaime was on his lunch break. So another guy had to come and help me and I felt led to ask him if he's eaten yet. And he's like, yeah, I had a snack, but I am hungry. I gave him the other half of my sandwich. I said, here, you can have this. He was like, really? Thank you. I said, yeah. It's about, uh, it's not just about us, guys. It's not just about us. Whatever you felt led to do, you've got to do it. You've got to do it because your blessings are on the other side. I am so stoked about what God just did for me right now. How God just showed up and showed out. Man. I know I got I got fired up on this word because y'all know that I have been away from y'all and I have to like really just go to like I would have to go to Starbucks or go somewhere to just use the Wi-Fi just to get on my ministry but I miss my ministry I miss it I miss preaching I miss talking to y'all about the goodness of God I miss hearing y'all's testimonies and what God's done through y'all and through others I miss that I miss it that's how you know I love God because I miss hearing about it I miss hearing about it so um yeah I was fired up okay I was fired up but there are so many people that are sleeping on God right now and they call themselves Christians and they're really just lazy Christians. They don't really want to go all the way in with God. Because they don't want to step out in the water. But if you're walking by sight and not by faith, you're not walking with God. Mm -mm. Everyone has so far has said, you're bold. You're That's crazy. You came out here all on your own. I said, yeah, the Lord led me out here. Whatever he has planned for me, it's going to be good. And they're like, man, that's crazy. But that's that's so cool of you to even do that. That's what it's like to walk with God. You got to take that boldness, that step of faith and just step out of the boat. Step out in the water. You don't even know what kind of blessings you have on the other side. You could be stuck in so much. I don't. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Lord, Lord, <sighs> bondage, you're stuck in bondage, there is somebody who is, the enemy's got you in a stronghold, and he won't let you go, but in Jesus name, he will let you go, because the devil doesn't want us to walk in the purpose of the Lord. He doesn't want us to walk in God's will. He wants us to be walking with him in the darkness, in darkness. So, you know, Satan's going to be trying to steal my blessings and steal my, um, my promises, but no, mm -mm. he's not, he's not that powerful. He's not that bold he's not that strong god is the only one that is almighty omniscient omnipotent he is yahweh el shaddai okay he's god and so whatever satan has over your life i ask that jesus will break it in his name i ask that the lord breaks that spirit of heaviness Spirit of laziness, spirit of procrastination, spirit of lust, spirit of sexual immorality, spirit of rebellion. I ask that you break that right now, Jesus. Break it in Jesus' name. It is broken. It is done. I I look, I'm tired. I'm tired. I am tired. That's why my eyes look so little. But God is good and God is faithful. Even when we're faithless, he's faithful. So there's somebody who is not walking in their purpose. Somebody who is watching that will come across this word that is supposed to be walking in purpose and they're not. They're afraid. Don't be afraid. Don't let Satan keep you bound. He has no authority over you. No authority over you. God is for you and not against you. He has plans to 
prosper you and not to harm you. Unlike Satan, he wants to harm you. He is nothing good. He is nothing good. But whew, it's been a minute since I've been online and literally was able to just talk about the goodness of God and just like preach and just like I got fired up, guys. But yeah, there's people out there sleeping on God and God's like, are you going to come walk with me or not? And he's calling you up. He's calling you. You going to answer that phone? You're not going to answer the phone because he will raise another. He will raise another, guys. So, yeah. Let me get up off here. I'm super stoked. I've got phone calls to make, okay? Um, God is good. God is good. God is good. I pray that this encourages somebody. This has to encourage somebody. This is not to bring anybody down or condemn anybody. But you should know, guys, on my channel, if y'all go back from day one, Y'all have seen where I've come from. Y'all have seen it. Y'all have seen the hand of God over my life. I know y'all have seen it. And granted, I don't have a permanent place to live yet. But I will soon. God is already moving. As long as I'm being obedient and I'm just flowing with the flow of the Holy Spirit, with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, I'm good. Satan's been trying to knock me off my feet. He's been trying to get me to quit that job that I just got. He's using the people in that place to come against me so I can quit. But let me tell you something. He's a damn liar. A liar. Because I know what God has for me. And partnering with God is just the best thing. And he's the best father. And he's the best provider. The best provider. He's a man that shall not lie. And his promises are always yes and amen. And he doesn't lie about that stuff. Satan can promise you something, but that that, that ain't going to happen. It's going to just fall through. And is it worth going to hell? Is it really worth going to hell? Because hell is hot. Hell is hot. And Jesus, guys, that man is coming back soon. So I'm just doing whatever it is that I need to do and that God is calling me to do in this hour, in this time, because it's about being obedient and it's about saving souls. It's about um, glorifying the kingdom, not glorifying me. I'm not glorifying. I didn't do, this is not me. I didn't get this cell phone because of me. I didn't get the, these accessories because of me. That was all the Lord. That was all the Lord. I didn't have to have my bank account open today. Like, I could have easily had to, like, I could have easily been denied because of how, you know, my bank account looks in Houston, in my hometown. I could have got denied that. But, no. I'm God's daughter. He loves me. And he just wants the best for me. And he knows that, you know, yeah, I don't know where everything is yet here. I don't, but God's definitely teaching me how to, like the first time I went to the gym, I think it was, I went to the gym without my GPS or I was trying to go home. I don't remember. It was one of the two. I didn't know what I was doing. Yeah, no, I was trying, I was going to work from the gym because I spent the night and I was going home from the gym and I didn't know where I was going. I didn't remember. I didn't have my GPS or nothing. And I got in my flesh and I was just like irritated and like I was so mad. But then I had to calm myself down and know that I have the Holy Spirit in me who is my guidance. He's my guide. God literally led me back to the job without a GPS without a GPS that was only God I said thank you Lord thank you that's 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 the kind of God that we serve that's the kind of God that we serve we serve a huge miraculous God I miss talking about him can you tell can you tell but let me get up off here I love y'all guys God loves y'all so much more God is so good. God is so good. My first cell phone bill will be expensive. I know that it will. But I'm going to have the money to pay it. 
Um, God, God has me, guys. Oh, God has me. So, step up your game, okay? Don't be afraid to do whatever God has called you to do. Because you don't want to miss out. If I said no to God, I would not be here. I would not be here. And, and there's people that just got up and moved all on their own without even God. And probably are struggling. But I was led by God to come here. And he provided for me the whole way. He's provided food. He's provided gas money. He's definitely, he's, look, he's got me a new phone and a whole new number. And accessories I didn't really have to get. I wanted to put them towards my cell phone bill, but they, I couldn't. And I was like, shoot, I well, might as well, you know, get this and get this and get this. But God never fails. never fails us. He amazes me almost every day. There's times I wanted to give up. But he would not let me. He would not let me. Because he loves me that much. And he loves you that much. So if he's told you to move, if you feel that nudge in your spirit to move, move. Get confirmation. Ask him for confirmation. He will always confirm his word. He always confirms. Some people don't. What do you need a sign for? What do you need confirmation for? Because you can just easily be led by your flesh and end up in the wrong spot and think that God called you there and he didn't. But he gave me confirmation after confirmation to come here. That's how I know I'm in the right spot. He gave me something else. That might be somewhere else that I'm going to be end up like, I don't know if I'm going to be living there, just visiting. I don't know. But right now, it's here. It's here. So you always ask God for confirmation just to confirm because you can easily be led by your flesh. And the devil disguises himself as an angel of light as well. So you can be listening to him too. That's why it's so urgent and so important for us to stay connected to God and to know his voice. Because in the word, what does it say? What does Jesus say? My sheep know my voice. God has been speaking. God has been speaking. So what voice are you listening to? Is it your father's voice or is it Satan's voice or is it other people's voices that you think is God and it's not? It could be a familiar spirit for all you know. You have to know God for yourself and if you don't have a relationship with God, get one. Get one. It's it's a difference between relationship and religion. And there's a lot of religion going on. A lot of religion going on. A lot of religion going on. I rebuke that spirit of religion in Jesus' name. But I pray this encourages you. And I pray that this is someone's confirmation to get up and move. Get up and move. And ask for confirmation. Take this back to God and ask him. Don't just go by what I'm saying. But I didn't expect to get on and talk about all of these things. I just got on to just talk about my testimony. Like on the goodness of God on my cell phone and everything. But the Holy Spirit speaking to somebody. Or maybe even more than one person. God's... He's raising up an army. He's raising up an end times army and he wants to know if you're down for him or you're not down for him. So yeah. Yeah. I love y'all. 
but I love y'all. God loves y'all so much more. I pray this blesses you. I pray this blesses you. I pray this blesses you. I wasn't trying to like be mean or anything, but it fires me up when I know that there is purpose out there for somebody and they're not walking in that purpose that God has for them that calling that God has for them you have gifts built up inside of you that is hidden inside of you and you're not you're not walking it out you're not walking it out there's somebody that needs to be saved there's somebody that needs a word from you from God through you through you God will speak through you to somebody else somebody needs that word so get on it get on it let me get up off here i love y'all i love y'all i love y'all um spend time with god okay ask him to reveal himself to you i ask right now in jesus name that god will reveal himself to you whoever it is that needs needs that encounter in jesus name so many people need an encounter with god and I don't know what that encounter is going to look like, but I pray that you have an encounter with the Lord because God is so good. God is so good. God is so good. Oh, I love you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. So I love you guys, but God loves y'all so much more and I will keep y'all updated. And uh, yeah, I love y'all.